next we're going to be talking about Morgan Wallen and his jealous rage when he found out his ex fiance got married. Let's talk about it. Okay. Is that why he threw the chair? That's exactly why he threw the chair. So okay, I didn't, man. I didn't know the backstory. He found out he had his ex got married, and was he at a rooftop casino? Where was he at? He was at a rooftop bar. He found out his ex fiance <sighs> slash baby mom got Ooh, married. I heard him. Got married, and he threw the chair off the table or off the roof, and he got arrested. And now he's facing you know the backlash. Felony for charges. It. Yeah. You need to go to anger management classes. I mean, he, he calling people the N word out here, flinging chairs. He acting a fool. It was it, Chef's Chef's Bar, in on um, Broadway in Nashville, Tennessee. So the question is, it, will it derail his career? And I don't think it will. No, I don't think it's. Gonna I don't think it's going to derail his career because number one, I I mean, I do listen. I'm from the south. I do listen to country music, but he's such a star that man, they're gonna get past that because his music is good. And one thing I will say with country music that I just realized over time is it's, they got their repeat customers. <laughs> I love that. They got repeat customers. Yeah, I love they, that. You could sing, and this is no knock to country music. All you country fans, don't start yeah. coming at Francois the Great saying like, Francois the Great don't like country. Country music, hip hop, R&B, the, the differentiate, the, what makes them different is R&B and hip hop, you always got to do something different because people always get sick of hearing it's a the trend. same thing. It's a trend. Country music, you could sing the same song with a different beat and the repeat customers will come back to you. Okay. Now, now they're they so, going to be mad at that. They, Some of them going to be mad at that. They're going to be well, mad. And that's what Beyonce is trying to change. She's trying to, Absolutely. to change the, I, I, I told, the, the what did I tell you? What did I tell you, Missy, the other day? She got hip hip country. <laughs> one, of, one of her songs is like, right. She, right. She, she got hip country I'm going to talk about that, too. She tripping. <laughs> Spaghetti, she, stop. She, she got hip country. But we're going to oh, go back. Oh, yes. What, I know exactly what you're talking that? about. How she has gunners or something, <laughs> or she has she has people on her roster. I can see the engineer. Oh, this is like, Country album, remember that. <laughs> you're you're right, Missy. She is trying to change that. But Morgan, you know, back to Morgan. back to Morgan. I think he'll have he'll have his fans. Okay. Even with everything that's going on. Um and he's had multiple things. This isn't even his first inci- inc- I mean, incident. If he had hit somebody with a chair, I could see people being mad about it, but that's really not that big of a deal as throwing the chair off right. of a roof tape off of a roof I mean, has like, he apologized? Has he deal. said anything? I don't know. Well, I mean, so when he when he got caught on the, like the the ring camera saying the N word, that was a big thing. He was on, you know, uh, I think CBS he in still the morning. Didn't get canceled. He still didn't get canceled. It it reminds me of like R. Kelly, mm. right? Not that Morgan Wallen's R. Kelly. What I'm just saying is like, he didn't get canceled. Does it cancel you as a fan of their music, or would you stop listening to Twelve Play R. Kelly because? Of what he was accused of? Are you going to stop watching The Cosby Show because what Bill Cosby was accused of? Or Chris Brown, what he did a long time ago with Rihanna? Do you still support these artists? Is there a I feel like crossing a line? I feel like I'm a minority in the room. In this, or my well, opinion, you are a minority, my, my, my opinion is the minority in the <laughs> I'm room. I'm a minority, too. Yeah. No, we, we, we might, all of us are minorities. My cameraman minority. No, I meant my opinion. <laughs> oh, yeah, her opinion. <laughs> My opinion is is not the same as everyone in the room. Um, yeah, I don't. I won't listen to any of them or watch any of the TV. Like if they do something like that, I'm just not doing it. But yet, I don't think just just as a everyone that's out there, there's a lot of people that agree with you. You know, a because lot. right before we went to the music break, I was saying like, I mean, for me, I can separate the two. I can separate the person and the art. Cause oh, I don't know you. Oh, okay. Well, I, I what I'll say is I'm not taking away from any of their talents Got and it. all the stuff that they did. They're Got very it. all. They're all very talented. They have all that in them. But the the ethical things that they have or unethical things that they have done is like, well, I don't want to support you anymore. Cause mm, yeah. I don't agree with what you've done. I got it. I agree with Francois. <laughs> I I can't turn off. Bump and grind remix. Like that song <laughs> is too hard. And I'm not thinking about what he did. I'm thinking about. How dope the song is and the feeling the song gives me, right? Mm-hmm. Well, go ahead, Missy. Go, yeah. ahead, go ahead. Yeah. When I think of R. Kelly music, though, I think of who is your inspiration behind these songs, though? Where was it a twenty-five-year-old or was it a thirteen-year-old that you're thinking of? I knew this was going too far. I knew this was going too far. I think Missy going too far. I don't think it's too far because he uh, was, he was convicted of those things. So it's like, were, what were you mm-hmm. thinking of when you made this song? That's what I think of. I've so you're thinking of too. a 13-year-old when you were thinking of Bump and Grind so, or whatever song you just said. 
I've heard that too. <laughs> um, but like for me, like I, I look at it as his whole scope of work, right? Like in everyone's scope of work that I still that I enjoyed and went and got into some trouble. So for R. Kelly, since we're talking about R. Kelly, yeah, okay. He had those songs, some some songs out you're like, mm, what's going on there? But then he has songs like I Believe I Can Fly. Step in the Name of Love. Step in the Name of Love. He has um um When a When a Woman's When a Woman's oh, Fed Up. When a Woman's Fed Up. And he has so many different songs that, you know, it's it's one of those things where you're just like, where does that come from? That's yeah. that's a special art form but at the same time i understand what missy's saying and, and i've heard this from other people too as well like when you hear bump and grind you're like were you talking about that 13 year old that's kind of gross r you know what i yeah, mean but so, for me i feel like missy does have a point she has but, a great point but i think it's also easy to insert something that they did negative to be, to be that like i'm thinking about a 13 year old as i write this song really maybe i don't know i just don't think that they were doing that i think they were being creative for me a creative person is in their creative space and I don't think that something negative is influencing them. That's just my opinion. I well, just don't see that happening. Like with yeah. O.J. Simpson that we talked about, if he's running routes, he's not thinking about murder. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. If he's what? If he's, thinking if he's thinking about, running routes. He's thinking he's about running murder. routes on the football I, I just, field. I, when Chris Brown is in there, you know, uh, singing, I don't think he's thinking about anything that he did in the past. I think he's trying to be in his creative space to sure. create good music. Sure. I just don't think that something beautiful can come from something negative as mm. as as god in my opinion has given everyone a gift i just don't think that he's thinking about a child i just think he's being creative and how his mind is working to create music i don't never think of nothing negative like bill cosby being a comedian mm. i don't think he's thinking about putting something in the woman's drink as he's you know having a, a you know a um, great comedic performance and for for bill cosby i mean like i said i don't know these people but one thing i do know yeah Bill Cosby, for me, it was the first time I ever seen a black family on television as a kid. You know what that does as a, for you as a kid when you're just watching shows and you're just seeing Mork and Mindy and, and you know, all these other shows. You, they don't have people of color. And you finally see this one show and you're like, that's not just a black man on TV. That's a black family. Yeah. It just, it changes your With whole career job, your, your whole perspective. Like, you know what? We can, we could be on TV. You know, there could be a girlfriends. There could be a, you know, a different world. There could, you know, and after that, there were so many. So mm -hmm. I salute him for that. Yeah. Um, but the other stuff, <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but we know it's true. He was convicted. Right. Well, yeah. So I mean, I don't know it's true, friends. Yeah. Why can't let you be by yourself? <laughs> so, so I, I, I was true. I wasn't there. So I, yeah, it's, you know it's, what I'm saying? I don't know him. Sure, if sure. I'm I don't not know there, him. it's very fair. To I say don't know that. him. I wasn't there, sure. right? Yeah. And sure. people can lie, right? Yeah. They can lie. But I also think with um, Bill Cosby, I know this is also going to be very unpopular. You know, that movie Scarface when he says, you know give a quaalude give another quaalude you know in the morning oh. or something mm -hmm. like that right back in that time in the 60s when they were doing their thing you know it was different people would put things in drinks and that's how they would party that's how they have a good time i always put myself in a, in a position thinking like why would somebody at that stature have to stoop down to take advantage of somebody when they can have anybody that they want i've always been like man doesn't kind of like when tupac was accused of of rape like right really he can kind of be with anybody he wants right so right. i'm not saying it can't happen right it's just that when you are that big of a star like r kelly why would you be parading looking for a 13 year old you're huge i mean on the flip side you got people that become stars and they think they are untouchable very like good they point. could do whatever they want to do and no one's gonna stop them jared fogel but if you have that, like, if you have that evilness, like, inside of you, yeah. it doesn't matter if you have everything in the world. You still want to absolutely good point to yeah. express that evilness or whatever, however way you want. Whether you're, you can get anybody you want. Or I, anything I agree. Like that. I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not to the point where Missy is, but um, I, I do respect that if people don't want to support anyone because of what they've been accused of or found guilty of, that's fine. Right, mm -hmm. I I completely understand. Missy's no but joke. But I do. But I think you should let respect other people that see that respect their art and not give them a, a brash or put them mm. under the same accusations that the person that agreed was found to disagree. Guilty. Like, yeah, let them like the music. Right. What I will say though is, um, 
it, it, it's sad though because then you know just like we were saying people love these songs then all this like i you know have liked these songs but i'm like man i can't listen to it anymore like i liked it but now but i you can't can, listen to missy. it anymore. not with my moral standards yeah. i cannot yes i mean there's there's people just with that same uh stance and and i get it i mean hey i respect it you know, I'm pretty sure I can find a, somebody you listen so to that's done something. Let me tell you, so I was I, at a party the other day. I was at a party the other day, and the R. Kelly song came on, and I didn't realize it was an R. Kelly song. Okay, I'm you dancing I'm, start, behind I'm starting to dance to it, and then somebody whispers in my ear, like, you know who sings this song, right? It's R. Kelly. That's Immediately, crazy. I take myself off the that's dance crazy. floor. Immediately. So somebody get like whispering, <laughs> like George Bush. Hey, da, 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 da. they got an R. Kelly song playing. See, so. See that's that's my thing, right? Because <laughs> this this man was able to capture and captivate something like an audience, and, and just music is one of those art forms that like it it can just captivate people. So yeah, like yeah. it's just funny. She said she was just like she was dancing. Right, I liked she it. didn't even realize she what she was dancing to. Dance. She didn't and, know. and see, it takes a special artist to bring that out of people. That's right. And that was you. that was one of his gifts. You didn't now, even did, know that. Did he yeah. have? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I'm gonna be real. Like we all got our issues. Everybody got their issues. So, does he have like an issue that is like very detrimental to like right. not an, just an, himself and other people? An issue of cheating on your your spouse is way different than abusing an. Well, it's still like, immoral, it's not the right. sa- But it's not it's not the same level. But why it's not? not the sa- Stealing a candy bar from the store is okay. the same moral um, wrongness as, as a child. As, well, it's a child. Mm, you're an adult. You steal <laughs> well, a candy well, bar. If, but I'm saying, is stealing a candy bar, regardless of your age, is not the same uh, badness as as like domestically abusing 